Hi there. Um, today I'm going to attempt to make around about 15,000 volt capacitor. Um, I don't want it to be um, too powerful. I mean, I want it to be high voltage, but I want it to be really low capacitance. This is so I can use it uh, on my flyback and get some uh, and get some really good sparks coming off it. I've seen how to do this on YouTube. Um, there's a few videos out there that I've watched um, a few times over, and I think I've got approximately the right things to be doing it. And so I'm going to give this a good bash. Uh, I've got myself four pieces of plastic from the inside of my old college folder, uh, and I'm going to have two sheets of tin foil, I'm just cutting off the uh, where I folded it, I'm just cutting off that piece there, and then I've got two sheets of tin foil. Um, I'm going to put one sheet down on here, then I'm going to put two of these sheets of plastic on top of that, and then I'm going to put the other sheet on, um, and then put the final piece of plastic sheeting on top of that. And then I'm going to roll it all, I'm going to also put in a couple of bits of wire, one on each side on each individual sheet, um, insulated again, you know, from each other, and then roll that up and have myself um, a capacitor. That's the plan, and I'm hoping not to actually hurt myself, particularly when I uh, charge it up. So, let's see how we get on. Okay, so, there's my capacitor. So far, I've not tried it yet. Let's see what the capacitance is. Um, I'm hoping that it was such a simple thing that I couldn't have got it wrong. Um, when it comes to the actual sizes, eh, I just did what I got. I did what I could with what I got. So we we'll just have to see how that how that pans out. Okay, so. That's what we got. 2.1 nanofarads. Oh, I hope that will do the job. I'm about to find out. Well, sorry, I'm about to find out. I've got some bits and pieces I've got to do, but then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give this a go. Okay, so what I've done now is I've filled the ends, um, layered it upon layer upon layer of uh, hot glue until the ends and all of the sheets are insulated and that's on both sides and then I've put tape over that and then I've taped the whole length again um, and made it a little bit extra long at the ends so I could cut the tape and then fold it across the end again just to make sure that it's well and truly insulated um, and now I'm going to wrap it in brown parcel paper uh, to give it that authentic look. Okay, right. So I wrapped it in uh, parcel tape, uh, <laughs> parcel wrapping paper. I've written on the the expected um, rating. It's breakdown voltage, um, two point one nanofarads there, and on the other side, look, no danger and I'm not perfect and I don't like re rehearse or anything everything's just as it is I may do a few little breaks in the videos as I'm doing bits and pieces hey look what I did, I put some heat shrink on my wires because the last thing I actually want to do if I've got a whole bunch of wires out in a circuit is get these particular ones mixed up with any other ones so I've tried to make them pretty noticeable um, without putting LEDs, flashing lights, whatever on there to make them light up. So, um, all apart from putting it in the circuit now, I'm pretty confident that's going to be okay. Um, and I shall, uh, I shall come back again when I've connected in the circuit with my flyback and <laughs> oh god, <laughs> and see what happens. Okay, right. Um, hold on. Okay, so I've, I'm just going to use the, the bought driver, okay? Um, this 
even though it's supposed to have as much power as the driver I built, doesn't actually seem to have as much power. But just because it's simple, it was right next to me pretty much, and I could just chuck it on here. I'm going to use this with this flyback that I've already got connected up to it. it makes it nice and simple. I've taken off the, the high voltage from the Jacob's ladder, um, and I've also taken off the earth. Uh, and I've connected both of the, the high voltage and the earth to the capacitor. As you can see, I've just used the um, real, I wouldn't suggest buying these leads. I'd get slightly heavier gauge and slightly better crocodile clips because these fail very, very quickly. Um, I wouldn't suggest using them for any type of current, but this isn't really going to pull any. Uh, so what I've done there is I've, I've connected the, the lead there, and that's now connected to my Jacob's ladder. Uh, and the other lead the same on the negative, I've got a black lead there and I've just brought it back round to the other side of the Jacob's ladder. So what I expect to see now is a lot better than just turn up light out, a lot better, a lot better spark for the book. Uh, 19 volts, 1.7 amps, let's uh, switch it on. I think we can definitely say that that has a lot more bang than what it did before. Um, I shall discharge the capacitor and just give you a quick quick showing of what it was like before. But uh, I think anybody that's seen uh, these, you can see that's actually got a lot more bang. Um, and that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. That's the sort of result I wanted. And of course, I'm still alive. Hmm. I've yet to discharge the capacitor and survive it. So, Let's let's just uh, fingers crossed there. I feel actually that I've uh, I discharge it here because because these are connected here and that's connected over here. I can just I can just touch these together and that should do it. I've just pulled the leads out my power supply. I don't know why I'm doing that. I've never heard anybody say that's an essential thing. Uh, but I'm just going to discharge here and, and let's just see what happens. Okay. Well. That will be making a short circuit connection, so that should be discharged. If I die now, I'll be shocked. <laughs> Did you get that? If I die now, I'll be shocked. Of course I would. It would be the shock. It kills me. But so that should be discharged. I should be happy with that. That's discharged. Um, and yeah. Okay, so this is just now I've taken the capacitor out of circuit. And... <clears throat> The little tiny bit, because I, I normally have to put like 22 volts on just to get this thing. Just to get it sort of like motivated. So when I stood on 19 volts, if I just uh, adjust that to uh, let's say 25 volts and let's see what happens. Okay, so if I just, I'll take the current up a little bit. And okay. You know, that's... Uh, well, just hold on. So there you go. I just I just shut the blinds a little tiny bit, and and that's where you get you, that. That is pretty much a uh, full power. Why would just turn that off now? You can see, look, 31 volts, 3.1 amps out of that power supply. Unfortunately, this particular driver circuit doesn't want to work with this power supply. My driver circuit does work with this power supply. So this is this is 10 amps. Yeah, about 10.2 he gives me, and this one gives me 3.1. So, bleh, to that. But so you can actually, you can actually see, you know, what you get without this in circuit. Uh, I need to make some little adjustments to this. So I can do that with that. Just from here. There we go. Look. That, that, that's full power from this. It does need, you know, sort of a bit of proper setting up. Um, unfortunately, when that's actually going, I can switch this off by the by the uh, the soft switch rather than the the main clunky one. Mm. But when I put the capacitor in line, for some reason my power supply didn't want to switch off. I think it was just going a bit do laddy in itself. So that's great. That's great. A little reminder again. So okay, the the cap's back in circuit. I'm just going to turn it on. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try it really quickly with the 31 volts, three amps. Wow! 
Wow. I'm going to be having some awesome fun with this. Awesome. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that. And um, I, I, I do like that. <laughs> Okay. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that was good for me. Bye, y'all. Okay, so I just, um, I just made a bit of a bigger spark gap there. So we're going to give it a go now with a bigger spark gap and, and see what happens. Um, I would turn down the volume. I should have said that before. I will put annotations up. But I would turn down the volume round about now. Three, two, one, ready? Okay, as you can tell that's quite loud. Quite powerful. I'm not sure of the stability, but I'm sure that that would have, um, yeah, yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that, that's pretty good, um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this sort of thing, um, comment, um, subscribe, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this sort of thing, a lot more of this sort of thing, and hopefully, you know, if you want, um, step by step, just, just, ask and I'll, I'll start doing step by step um, but I am I'm getting pretty much all my information from books and other people on YouTube on the internet there's lots of information out there it's fantastic um, what you can do with just some basic household things um, yeah and I'm chuffed the pieces with this chuffed the pieces and uh, to everybody in my list that I subscribe to each and every one of you uh, you know, part helping me to do this. So thank you, everybody. Thank you very, very much. Especially the guys that I talk to and give me, give me uh, uh, replies on the comments and on the posts that I put on there, asking on on their um, on their videos, asking for uh, help and suggestions and you know to use guys especially. Thank you. Thank you very much.